you remember meeting him beneath the tree? He didn't believe that she was cursed. He saved you when everyone else turned their backs. Senwa, you've got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. Do you remember He's in the, the other way world. the dark you world without you? Was it worth it? You're still alive and dead. You doesn't deserve to be dead. How does that make you feel? Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. <laughs> she thought she had light within her when she had only the She is pure darkness. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Lillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. You have no chance. Nobody will have you. I have no time for this. Speed up. Distract you. What if set you up and go? They're going to watch you. What if these? 
trials mean nothing. Who's laughing at you? What if they take you no closer to Dillian? About Dillian, and you're letting this get in the way. What if they are just to tire you out, to make you weak before the battle? He was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him? He stroked your hair. Do you remember the way he felt? Do you remember the way he touched you? Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giant S they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giant S must have been Loki in disguise. Yes. 
squashed it, strangled it, flattened it. The curse cannot be undone. that nobody else did. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron, and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face, so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a trick? The gods were lying. Think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. your curse. It makes sense to you. Worlds. he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes, slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. <laughs> or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? <laughs> the gift that makes you so special in my house. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I 
I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking you from the inside. You're disappearing one memory. were yours, but they're the gods now. Nothing is yours anymore. Dillian's disappearing with your memories. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... It doesn't feel right. This place feels... What is this place? It feels wrong. It feels strange. Wrong. This has to be wrong. This place stinks. Ah, uh, there he is. There Did he is. It. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. Find him. Don't let him. He's dis going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air. Why is it gone? Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. It's just another test. You just have to solve it, and then you will find him. Then you will succeed. Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. Spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. No one else could. She knew something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. Now you have to find him. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in.
Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. You did it. She did it. It's not done yet. Just a small piece of the puzzle. found a way to climb the tower. The ladder. Quick. What now? You can see it. A line to the truth. Come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. There was a Northman called Grettir. Big, red-haired, immensely strong. But he was afraid of the dark. It happened one night that an undead creature came to his house to drag him outside into darkness and kill him. He resisted with every ounce of his strength. He clung to the door frame, but it gave way, and they spilled out of the house, and the monster fell back, and the moon shone down on its ghastly face. Grettir, terrified, cuts off its head, but is cursed forever. From that moment on, wherever he was, he would see those hideous eyes staring back at him. 
Sometimes we allow our own fear to haunt us to our grave. Let it go. It is. Go towards it. Run. Two more. Two more to the tombs. Where are they, son? Where is Dillian? Where are you? Don't let it see you. Don't get lost. Don't let it see you. Come on. You'll start to burn. Keep burn. There it is. Move away. Don't let it look quick. Where's Dillian? Where is he? This is taking too long. Can you hear him? You're two lost. Two more rooms. You have to find the Where are they? It all looks the same. Damn it! 